Did you ever wonder why Robin and Cody always arrive in separate cars? Hmm. Or did you wonder what McKelty thinks of her cousin Ben? Let's talk about it today. Hello, hello. These are going to be short little videos of information that I learned from McKelty's Patreon. Again, I just want to reiterate, she has about a 45 minute long Patreon answering about 25 to 30 different questions or comments. I'm going to do four to six topics that I thought were interesting. Each one will just be a couple minutes long. So please go ahead. I will have the link to her Patreon down below if you're interested in subscribing and watching everything she has to say. Out of respect for McKelty, I will not say everything that she covered. One of the questions that came to her <laughs> was, why is it that Cody and Robin always arrive in separate cars? Kelty started off dancing around the issue and she's like, well, my dad might be coming from the gym. Like there was no job. There was no job mentioned. <laughs> Not like my dad would be coming from work and Robin has to go to work. That never came out of her mouth because <laughs> there is no work. We know that. But she said, my dad might be coming from the gym or possibly from Salsa Brava. It's so funny that she actually said that. He might be coming from Salsa Brava where he was recording something with another one of his wives. And Robin could be coming from dropping the kids off to school or she might have to go get the kids from school afterwards. They might have just different places that they're going to. And then she just kind of started laughing and saying, they always do arrive in different cars, don't they? And then she admitted, which is what we all thought, that it's possible that because during the past couple years of filming, he was still married to all his wives. Really, only one wife was gone and unofficially divorced in this past season 18. So for appearances sake, probably would look better if they arrived separately. So it didn't always look like he had this home. This was their home because he still had other wives he was married to. But it, it's true. They do always arrive in separate cars. You know, maybe it's partially because when they were doing that on the show as well, a lot of the parents hadn't officially been divorced yet, so they couldn't say that like Cody and Robin were living to, with each other technically, like solely. So they were trying to make it look like maybe they were coming from different locations. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so true. That's what we figured, right? That's what we figured. She didn't say it was a solid fact. She's like, well, this is a possibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how she ended with that one. <laughs> and the truth is... <laughs> He was only living with the one wife in her house, and it just didn't look good for them to always arrive in the same car together because it's like, well, how come you never come with Janelle? How come you never come with Mary? How come you never came with Christine before she left? Well, we know why, because he was never with them. He was always with Robin. But they thought they were fooling the viewers into thinking that they weren't coming from the same house. If the man was clever, he would have arranged for him to actually be at another wife's house prior to having to get together for any of these events. Therefore, he would arrive with a different wife. Even if he did it one out of every 10 times, it would be like, oh, no, 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 sometimes he comes with another wife. But he never 
ever arrived anywhere. I can't think of one time. Write down below if you can think of one instance where he arrived with another wife to a get together at Coyote Pass, at a picnic table, at a different wife's house, wherever they were going. He didn't. Coyote Pass is right next to the house that Robin and Cody have. And yet, Robin will get in her van and drive over there, and he'll get on his four-wheeler and drive it over to the same location. And then they go both go in their respective things and go back afterwards. It's so silly and ridiculous. It fits the M.O., though, of a narcissist who thinks he has the upper hand and he's one step ahead of everybody, right? And the rest of us are like, mm-hmm. We've been asking for forever. Why do the two of them always arrive separately? This is so stupid. All right, there's McKelty sharing her view of it. Really quickly, since we're just on the topic of Cody and Robin, there was the question that said, rumors are out there that you are not responding to Robin's texts and that you don't have a good relationship with your father now ever since he saw you um, and your comments on this channel. I think it was more comments on the show, not so much the channel, but maybe there was stuff on the channel too. Again, I'm just a new member for Patreon, so maybe there was more inflammatory things she said about Cody in the past that I just don't know about. But her defending her mom, clearly you could see Cody's reaction in the one-on-ones that he was uncomfortable and not happy with her. So I was married to someone who apparently wasn't physically attractive to me. And the biggest reason why I haven't dated is because I don't get that. When did you know that? Gorgeous. The biggest reason I left Cody. And you were married for 25-ish years. The guy you were married with was never into it. Like, that sucks. But that's his problem, not yours. And I get, like, full scoops of ice. That, that scene bothers me because she's right there asking for my children to side with her against me. I mean, she's not asking that. McKelty, in order to have favor with Christine, is siding against me on this whole story. McKelty said, like, yes. I mean, she's joining Christine in the criticism of me because I didn't love her. That's all she was doing, though. I was attached to her, and in the eyes of my children, I was there and I was with her. She told them that I wasn't. No, in the eyes of your kids, you were not there, sir. But I cannot forget, at least not right now, the fact that she has pit my children against me in a very subtle but real way, and that bothers me. See, I feel like your mom does a great job of not putting you in a spot where you're yeah. like pitted against him. I think she does a good job. I with agree. That. Yeah. He interpreted her supporting her mom as her going against Cody, because that's how his brain works. Thank you for asking those questions. <laughs> Robin answers my calls. I have a great relationship with my dad. Um, I don't, I probably talk to all of my parents, most of my parents, <laughs> like maybe once a month, you know, it's not like I'm hardcore calling them up every other day. Hey, cause I don't, I don't even call my mom, my, like, I don't call Christine up every other day. I don't even call her up like crazy often. I call my sister Aspen up all the time. I'm like, Hey, this happened kind of thing. Anyway, uh, we all have a great relationship. People are gonna twist things all the time. It is obnoxious, but there's no getting around it. Um, my dad is lucky that I'm so close to him, I agree. Cause apparently he thinks we're all jerks. So what's the point? <laughs> uh. In this video, I also wanted to address how McKelty talked about her cousin, Ben. Somebody asked a question to the effect of, are you frustrated with your cousin Ben's comments and the things that he's saying about your grandfather, Grandpa Wynn? And McKelty was very gracious. She's very gracious through this whole thing. I do think this might be a pattern with her where she tries to straddle the line 
and see both sides. McKelty says that she doesn't talk to her cousin Ben very much. And it, it's partly because she has seen a bunch of the stuff that he has posted and that he does and, you know, some of his comedy. And what he's saying is not her experience. Uh, Grandpa Wynn, I have direct experience of, and yes, he was, he was quite physically abusive. Um, he had this thing where he would get really angry. He would like fly into these big rages. And if you were close to him, he would grab you, like he'd reach out and grab you by the arm and kind of like kick the shit out of you, which sucked. Like that was not a great time for sure. But I figured out pretty quickly that if you ran, like after he grabbed you, if you just started running, then he'd like, you'd like run it and then a little circle around him. And he'd just be kind of like kicking the air like an idiot. So that's how I got away from, from that. You just run away from it. She said the things that he says about Grandpa Wynn, she can't relate to. That's not what she's experienced in her life. But she points out two things can be true. My experience is very different from his experience. It doesn't invalidate his his experience. I've seen some of his stuff and I was like, okay, interesting. And then I, I don't watch most of his stuff because um, I have a very different opinion, but does not invalidate his opinion, basically. So she's quick to say, I'm not saying it's not true. I'm just saying I didn't experience that, which makes sense because I do believe that Grandpa Wynn was tougher on the boys than the girls. The boys spent a lot more time on the ranch than the girls because they had working summers there. And I do believe there would be a lot of backlash if doing that with a granddaughter. So I could see both being true. And that's basically what McKelty said. All right, that's what I'm covering for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share with a friend, all that good stuff. You know what to do. Hopefully in the next couple of days, I'll have another video out for you. You take care. Have a fabulous day. Bye y'all.